United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, part of Rostec, handed over the latest additional batch of Su-57 and Su-35S to the Russian Ministry of Defense. UAC CEO Yuri Slyasar said the company had completed the 2022 program to produce Su-57 and Su-35S jets on order for the Ministry of Defense for the Russian Aerospace Forces, VKS. It did not say how many Su-57 units were handed over this time. However, information circulating on Twitter mentions as many as four units. Meanwhile, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia Denis Mancharev, Rostec is building the production potential of the fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet. Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov stated that the Komsomolska on Amur aviation plant plans to increase the production of the Su-57. U. A factory. Gagarin in Komsomolska on Amur is working on a large-scale upgrade project, which will significantly increase the production of this fighter. The Su-57 is a Russian fifth-generation multifunctional fighter capable of engaging all types of air, ground and surface targets. The company explained that supersonic cruising speed, intra-aircraft weapons, stealth coating, and the latest onboard equipment on board are the advantages of the Su-57. Meanwhile, the Suhoi Su-35 is the designation for two improved derivatives of the Su-27 air defense fighter. They are single-seat, twin-engine, super-maneuverable aircraft, designed by the Suhoi Design Bureau and built by Suhoi. The Su-35 is powered by a pair of Saturn AL-41F1S turbofan engines, formerly known as Isdalie, product, 117S. A highly upgraded variant of the AL-31F, the AL-41F1S is related to the Su-57 Saturn AL-41F1, Isdalie 117, differing primarily in the engine control system, 4950, the engines equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles, which have the rotational axes canted at an angle, the nozzles operate in one plane for pitch, but the canting allows the aircraft to produce both roll and tow by vectoring each engine nozzle differently. This configuration was first implemented on the Su-30 MK and is also used on the Su-57. The Su-35's thrust vectoring system and integrated flight and propulsion control systems allow the aircraft to attain supermaneuverability, enabling it to perform post-stall maneuvers at low speeds. This differs from Western Air Combat Doctrine, which emphasizes the maintenance of a fighter aircraft's kinetic energy, 